Hey guys, welcome back. While the RG35XX looked okay, Ambenit could have brought it to the next level had they used a bit more colour. In today's video, we'll see how easy it is to paint this translucent shell and give it some Pokemon charm. Welcome to Team Pandori. Do it now, subscribe. First thing we'll need to do is open it up. Take out the micro SD card and then turn it over. On the back there are six security screws. We can open them with a hex wrench. One of these will work. Once those are out, we'll use a guitar pick along this seam to pry open the case. Easy does it. I am going to get a cup of tea with Beverly. John Luke out. And hey presto, we're open. We'll need to disconnect the battery to pull off the back of the case. We can then remove these buttons on the side. Then unplug the speaker cable. The board is held into the shell by six screws. For this you can use a small posi driver. The board can now be pulled out slightly, but the display is still connected. We can remove the cable by pulling back on the plastic tab and then feed it through. We can now remove all the buttons and the membranes. Then take out the speaker by using a small flat head screwdriver. We can then... Whatever you do, do not try and force out the display when you're unsure of how it can be removed. Worst case scenario, it will break your screen, rendering your handheld useless. Remove this covering. And from the back, we can see that the display is held in by three pieces of double-sided tape. From the back, I'm going to attempt to cut this tape. Don't do this. The pig here actually broke the surrounding plastic. We can use a guitar pick to pry out the display from the shell. What an absolute tit. The display has its own protective case, so get the whole thing out rather than put any more stress on the display. And at last, we can pull it out. There's a screw on each side, and this here secures the shoulder buttons. The battery is stuck into the inside of the case with double-sided tape. We'll try using the pick to break the tape, and again, pry the battery out. Peel off the sticker easily by applying heat with a hairdryer. And before adding any paint, we can give it a good clean. We're going to use some surface primer. What an absolute twonk! While it's a good idea to use primer before painting, if you want a translucent effect, you should use clear primer and not grey or white. We'll have two layers of primer. And as this is a windy day, let's get this newspaper out the way. We've used primer on the inside and out. Now we're going to add some colour. This one's apparently clear yellow, and I don't know how this is going to work. So two or three layers for the inside. And then the same for the outside. After around three layers of yellow, we're going to use two layers of clear. In the morning, we finally got to see our horrible work. We've made a boring handheld into one that is covered in puke yellow. That is not nice. Now let's see what we can do to get this crap off. Contact cleaner does nothing. And neither does this 552 oil. Then we tried some paint thinner. It might need a good soak. From what we can tell, there's been no change. 
If we put it under the hot water for a bit, we can actually scrape off the paint. But it's not the solution we're looking for. We tried nail varnish remover without ethanol. No luck. And here's it with ethanol. Jackpot. And now we can see some progress. And with some cotton buds, tissues, and a bit of elbow grease, the shell looks as good as new. And we totally forgot about this LED cover, which we should have taken out before painting. Broke it. As a quick experiment, we decided to use the clear yellow to see what the case would look like without the primer. Still a disaster. At this point, we didn't care at all. So here's what happens when we use the cheapest acrylic paint in the shop. It's apparently for wood and metal, and yeah, it's a thick disaster. More time wasted. There are also some parts in the plastic that are broken, so we use some super glue to mend it, and then some water and sandpaper to smooth it down ready for painting. And this time, we're only gonna paint the outer shell. looking better already. We're going to use glossy yellow acrylic. This is for plastic, so it's much thinner than the last paint we used. And two more coats are clear to protect the job. While this is looking much better than earlier, if you shine the light on it, it doesn't look very flat. So I think we can smooth this out using wet sanding. If you do this yourself, make sure you use a very, very fine grit. I'm using 800 here, and I muck it up. Time to spray it again. Time for round two. Shit. At this point, I'm completely fed up. I do not want to touch paint again. Maybe we can use a pen. Do, be, do, do, do. Ah. As our shell now has had multiple layers of paint, our buttons don't fit, so we use a file to clean out the holes, and then accidentally snap one of the speaker wires. Solder, solder! And now we can screw everything back together, then find a piece of plastic is broken off from the shoulder button. But we have good news, one extra screw. To fix the painting imperfections, we decided to go with some Pikachu stickers. Pikachu! Pikachu! Pika -pee. Pikachu! The yellow, complementing the black, looks very nice. If we look around the side, yeah sure, we can see that there's paint missing along the seam, but it just kind of looks aged, especially if we look on the right side. There's cracks, and even the power and the reset button are missing. We've just made a retro mod, how good is that? We'll need to turn it on by using a pointy stick, and look at that! The screen has aged 15 years. Simply incredible. We've learned today that we need to plan well, or deal with possible consequences. Some will be better at DIY than others, and for most people, maybe best just to wait for coloured shells to be sold on Etsy or AliExpress. We did make mistakes in this video, but mistakes are important to grow, improve, and we've all got to start somewhere. As we finish this video, here's a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. We make video reviews, tutorials, and fix them cheap arcade boxes, as well as the air Mini. You screw this one good. I know. Anyway, this has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!